everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome my name is Darlene today I'm going to be reviewing these hair extensions they are by the brand F shine this right here they are sold on Amazon and I will actually put the links and everything to where you can purchase them down in the description box below the extensions did come with two extra clips you can see right there, they have the little plastic pieces underneath the clip to keep them from slipping out of your hair, which I do appreciate. It comes with four two pieces, two three pieces, and one four piece. So it is a seven piece altogether set. And I got the uh, 18 inches number 60 ST and it's of course a seven piece, like I said. So we're gonna get right into this. This is what my hair looks like before I put any hair extensions, it's kind of choppy, like it broke off right here. And so I'm in the process of regrowing it out, um, which is always a fun process, but it's, it is what it is. So I do like to wear hair extensions if I want my hair to look really long and pretty. And right now my hair is super, super hard to match because it is a balayage. So it's, um, like a dark brown right here, but then it's like white like ice blonde at the ends. And it's really, really hard for me to color match my hair right now. So I do usually have to go in and use some purple shampoo. Like these are going to be more yellow than my hair. So I do usually have to tone them with my purple shampoo to get them this like icy white color. But right here, my hair is starting to kind of, um, I need to use some purple shampoo because I can see it starting to get a little brassy right here. So that's what I usually do when I start seeing brassiness. I just go in and do that. So I start out with the three piece clips and I'm gonna put them at the very base of my hair. So I just grab my fingers like this and I draw a line straight back like that. And then I'm gonna clip this part up and I'm going to put my three my two three wefts down and I'm going to stack them. So this is my three wefts. So I'm just gonna put it right here because they don't have, they are non-slip. I don't have to tease my hair or anything and they stay in pretty well. I'm gonna go right on top of that with my other three weft. And I do have super thin hair, so I don't like to go too high up with my extensions because my hair is so thin, it's hard to cover it. So I do like to stay pretty low. So I'm just gonna go like slightly, like very slightly above that and put my four weft. You can see it's just like barely, barely above that. So then I'll put my four weft and then I'm gonna go around and put my two wefts after this. So you just want to make sure all the clips are open so they're a lot easier to apply. And then for my two wefts, I like to go a little like about this corner of my eyes. You can feel that one kind of got, okay. So just above my eyes, just like so. Um, I did straighten these already. Um, just because they're kind of bent when they're milled off and it does create some creases in them, but they are 100% real roomy hair. So you are allowed to um, use heat on them. If they were not, if they were synthetic, um, you can't just use heat on them. So I always like highly recommend buying the um, real hair, the real human hair, because otherwise it's a lot harder um, to straighten them if they get any wrinkles or anything, they're likely to melt and you don't want that. I'm gonna put, this is a two piece. So I'm gonna just put it right beside that. And this is my other four piece. I don't like going too close because if you pull your hair up or anything, you don't wanna see the clip so I do go about an inch back is where I start. They're all lining up. So I'm just going to use this one right on top of that. 
Just to add some more hair in the front. Okay. So that is what the back looks like. Um, I don't know if you can see anything. And when you do curl your hair, it all blends a lot better. Like I very rarely just wear my hair straight like that. I usually always curl it. And this is what the front looks like. Pull it all forward. So it's really pretty. Um, like I said, when I do curl my hair, it does blend a lot better. I have a lot of tutorials on my channel actually make curling it. I'll go ahead and curl all this. Though I wasn't really wanting to, um, just to kind of show you. So I'm going to curl it and I'll be right back. Okay. So that is how it turned out. I didn't really curl it too much. I just kind of did some beach waves, but I do like the way it turned out. As you can see, it blends a lot better when it's like that. Let me go ahead and show you the back. It just usually looks a lot better um, when it's curled. And the good thing about this is you don't have to curl the hair extensions. Every time that you do curl it, I usually curl them. And then the curls will stay for quite a while, especially if you spray them with some hairspray. Um, it is always a good idea to use heat protectant on the extensions themselves because it is real human hair. Sometimes, um, depending on the brand, they do mix like plastic with them. I've like, even my Bellamy's, they had plastic in them and I wrote Bellamy and they said, no, it's not plastic. It's, um, a coating, but no, it was plastic. They did mix plastic with the hair. So a lot of hair companies do do that. So be mindful of that when you are in my Bellamy's are super expensive and super bragged about. And I do love them. They're really nice hair extensions, but I think to get the, was it 320 grams of hair? I do believe that they do put plastic, even though I mean, they completely denied it. I seen it on my um, curling wand. You can see like the melted plastic. And then I was looking through it and you could tell that it was plastic. Um, even though they deny those claims. I know that it's true because I know what I see. Um, but yeah, so do use heat protectant when you are curling your hair, but these are really pretty. They're a lot more affordable than like the Bellamy's per se, but super pretty. Um, they are a little more yellow tone, but when my hair is curled, you really can't tell. Like it just looks like it's lifted a little higher and it just looks really pretty. But yeah, that completes this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell down in the corner below. That way you'll be notified every time that I do upload a video. But until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye. God bless.